Today we're gonna check out the new episode of Call of the Night, and we previously met a bunch of other vampires. All the ladies gathered in order to try to get Ko to join them as their child lover person. And he basically said, nah, I already know who I want. So now we're gonna see where it's going here. And he also mentioned that he was willing to wait forever and that threw everyone off. So what does that mean? Let's jump into it. But before we do, most of you are not subscribed to the channel, so support the content if you enjoy it and join the community if you haven't already. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. <laughs> See, why are they all reacting that way? Oh. Damn. Well, he's on a time limit now. He's on a fixed schedule. He's got to get this thing done. Y'all don't want to have drinks too? Hang out with him? <laughs> he's riding on her back. <laughs> it's kind of funnier this way. Instead of him just being carried, like... <laughs> Man, she's starting to fall in love with him, dude. Damn. Hey, so, um, by the way, I'm gonna be unboxing a lot of manga soon. As you can see, there's a lot of boxes here. Okay, so... Oh, and... I'm pretty sure there's some Call of the Night in this. Wait, is there? I'm pretty sure there is. So, I'm just saying, like, you'll see that there's going to be a post on the channel at some point in time. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. There will be a post about it. And also, I'll have, like, an actual official date for when we're going to do the unboxing. When I upload my June unboxing, which I haven't edited yet, I need to do that too. But, yeah. So, just keep that in mind. I'm just saying, we're going to be unboxing some manga soon, so. Listen, worst comes to worst, you end up with... Akira. <laughs> he just came to a realization. Oh shit. <laughs> well, this guy's from the OP. Damn, sounds fun. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Maybe it is a vampire, though. Maybe that's uh, foreshadowing. That's like my first thought, too. Mm, so he's friends with Ko. Okay, so he's definitely not like the Dracula guy. He's still going to school, depressed. Oh, wait, they're both early to school? Early to class? So did he teach him? Did he actually play with him? What's up? <laughs> I, li I like I like how the people say that type of shit like like her and him they just always like that saying uh, things even though they're not the type of person that could actually oh my gosh not gonna get away this time oh I really like that part of the show Whoa, you need to control your urges. <laughs> control yourself, girl. <laughs> Bully? Damn, Nazuna, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, that is a sin punishable by death. How dare he? I like how she says these modern consoles, but it's a fucking PlayStation 1. Suck it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh, eh, oh. Aw, oh, dude, did she not... Did she not take into account? Oh, maybe. Maybe it was done on purpose. I was gonna say, that is pretty not Nazuna, you know? It's not really like her scene, any of that shit. 
She'd rather just like fly around. I don't know. Get into some trouble. Or of course, stay home and play video games. Show up at his window. He's like, wait, I'm too high up. How are you doing that? He's the meal. <laughs> Bro, my shoulder would have pulled out the socket by now. Get to sucking. Ah, uh, I really like that song. Well, these guys are going to destroy their livers. They stay drinking, man. You gonna run it back, Ko? Aww. <laughs> he sounded a little... Aww. Everybody loves him. He's that, he's that one type of guy, you know? That everybody's just like, ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's him. He's like friends with everybody. Like, um... Najime. Najime? That's not right. Najime? Najime? Inkomi? I feel like that's wrong, but I also feel like it's right. Something like that. I, I also knew like a couple of people when I went to high when I was in high school, fucking decade ago, that were similar. Where I, you just felt like, how the fuck do you know everyone? Like, how is this possible that you know every single person in the school? Some people are like that. So I'm assuming that th that's kind of like how this guy is. Hmm. That's kind of sad. Where she come from? She is already a vampire. That's so cool. Hey, <laughs> watch. That's all that matters. Oh, he's a hundred percent somebody's vampire person. I don't know who it is, but it's one of the girls. It's one of them. I'd be willing to bet it's either the the um the big sweater or the less memorable one. Or not? You recognize her? What's going on here? Er, we gotta run that back. What? It's it seems illicit with a middle schooler, doesn't it? it? Seems illicit with a middle school. I don't know if illicit's the right word. I gotta look that up because what I think that means wouldn't apply. Oh yeah, I that's not what I thought it was. Oh, okay. So there's another word, illicit. That's not illicit. It's two different words, and I thought it, I thought it was illicit, not illicit. Okay, okay. That's my own. It's it's a it's a it's a hom homonym. Hom homophone. Hum, han, hananim? Hum, hamanim? It seems... So what? It seems like illegal with a middle schooler? What does that mean? Is it... Prostitutio? Uh, or is it like... Um... A vampire? Who is she? Is she an adult? Or is she... Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? I'm gonna get mad. All right, hey man, still a good episode, still good. I enjoyed it, that was awesome, okay? Good episodes, I really do like this series. Uh, it's one of the better series this season for sure, probably in the top three best new series this season. Uh, again, what I really like about this one isn't necessarily like, now what I'm about to list are all pluses, okay? Uh, but it's not like what I love about it. So it's not the romance, it's not the comedy, it's not the animation. It's not the way that they have designed it with the colors and everything. It's not any of those things. It's not the plot. What it is for me that I really like is just the way that they, I. so it's kind of two things. One is like, I'm assuming kind of like the director's choice in the way the scenes are set up. I don't know if that's the director, cinematographer, whatever. I don't know the terminology for animators, but like the way that they present the scenes, I really like. And then two, I really like the themes. Themes of loneliness, themes of friend friendship, um, 
not understanding friendship, not understanding relationships, not understanding love. Like those different themes are, I think, what makes this series more unique and more enjoyable. And that's what I look forward to uh, with this series because that's what makes this one so interesting to me. With that said, we did get to meet a new friend. What are your thoughts on this new friend? You know, who do you think that he was with just now? Do you think it was a vampire or do you think it was just an older woman? And if it's old, an older woman, then, well, that's really fucked up. Even though technically, Nazuna is also an older woman, technically. So that should be fucked up too. I think as long as we don't think about it too hard like that, it's not so bad. But like, when you think about it, she's like hundreds of years old and she is kind of grooming a middle schooler. But I, I tend not to think of it from that perspective because they're like, oh, but she isn't one to be in love. And she looks younger. I don't know. Now I'm like kind of tripping myself out here. I'm like, damn, dude, this is kind of fucked up. It's kind of messed up, but it's also anime. It's also Japanese culture, very different from American culture. That's what I'm always going to go back to. That way, like I put all the blame on 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 <laughs> on Japanese culture. So if it is really bad and really fucked up, like, oh, no, that's like that's like some predator shit. That's like grooming. I'm like, well, I mean, I just thought it was Japanese culture. <laughs> I don't know. But if people are like, no, no, it's not anything predator. There's no grooming. And I'm like, oh yeah, well, I mean, I just thought it was Japanese culture. So just chalk it up to that. I don't, I don't know, man. A lot of the series when it comes to anime have to deal with middle schoolers, high schoolers, and that type of shit. A lot of it is geared towards a younger audience, towards a shonen demographic, uh, you know, a shoujo demographic, you know? So yeah, it's like, it's geared towards people that are still in high school, that are still in middle school, that are dealing with these problems of like not understanding where they fit in in the world and shit like that. And then they use these fantasy elements of a vampire and trying to turn him into one in order to help them feel like maybe they could belong at some point, I assume. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. Anyways, I don't know why I'm going on a tangent here. What do you think about this new guy? And the, also the, the relationship between the three of them. So between... Ko, the new guy, and also Akira, like their friendship, the bond that they had. And also beyond that, uh, what do you think about this new thing we found out when it comes to the turning into a vampire where you have a year, that's it. And this is, I think, day eight. Each episode's a day. So it's got a hundred total episodes before he's got to become a, oh, a year. I guess 365 episodes. That's a lot of episodes. 365 episodes, I'm just saying. So he, he could probably become a year. Um, become a vampire in a year, bro. Ugh, losing my mind. <laughs> I would love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. Also, again, don't forget about the unboxing stuff, all that manga. We're going to be doing an unboxing soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You'll see me post the June unboxing at some point, and when you see that video, it'll have more information on when we're going to do the live stream to unbox all of that, which is at least 150 volumes of manga. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.